All right, Fox News alert. Last night, President Biden's doctor trying to explain why a top neurologist and Parkinson expert reportedly visited eight times in eight months. Dr. Kevin O'Connor saying, quote, Dr. Kennard was the neurological uh, specialist that examined President Biden for each of his annual physicals. His findings have been made public each time I have released the results of the president's annual physical. President Biden has not seen a neurologist neurologist outside of his annual physical. Now, this all comes after chaos erupted inside the briefing room. It's a very basic, direct question. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait a second. There's no reason to get back and go back and forth and well, be in this aggressive way. We missed around here about how information's been shared with the press corps around here. America reports co-anchor John Roberts joins us now. He used to be in that briefing room under three presidents, and he knows it all too well. So I guess, John, my question for you, there has been a change in the core. Uh, it looks like before it was just Peter Ducey and a few others that were posing these questions, but the mood has changed. And the spinning that happened yesterday, what do you make of it? You know, I, you're, you're right to, to, for the most part, I guess. Uh, Ducey is the one who's in there, and he's known for asking pointed questions at every press briefing. Ed O'Keefe uh, from CBS, who Lost was mixing it. it up with Corrine Jean-Pierre uh, uh, from time to time, does uh, ask pointed questions. But for the most part, the White House press corps just gives them a pass, asks a very sort of um, tepid question, I guess, and gets an answer. But yesterday was a free-for-all, the likes of which I have not seen during this Biden White House. Now, don't forget, Lawrence, when you are the press secretary, your job is to go out there and make the news that the White House wants to have made. Mm -hmm. And then you take questions from the press. You say a lot of things, but you really say nothing. And you walk away from that podium having made no news, but leaving reporters satisfied that they at least got some information. It was anything but that yesterday. As Steve Ducey was saying last hour, Corinne Jean-Pierre walked off that podium leaving an awful lot of plates spinning in the air, creating more questions than answers. And then, as you pointed out a moment ago, Dr. Kevin O'Connor had to issue a rare memo saying that Dr. Kevin Kennard had, in fact, examined the president. Uh, why they didn't have that prepared for yesterday afternoon during the briefing, I couldn't begin to tell you. You know, uh, John, there still hasn't been any clarification. I mean, there's a difference between the, the doctor's office that is right outside of the residence and then the White House physician's office. And they're trying to combine the two, saying that they can't release the information because it would cloud the entire White House when everyone is just asking, as it regards to the president of the United States, can you, can you break that down for us? You know, the White House is supposed to be very public about the president's health. They released the results of his annual medical. So to say that he was seen by a, a neurologist seems to me as though it wouldn't be contravening any kind of national oh. security concerns. You know, they should be able to tell us this information instead of saying, I don't care how hard you press me, I'm not going to give you the name, and then have the White House physician give it later on. It just makes the whole thing look suspicious. Yeah. It's all shady. Speaking of national security, General Kellogg had this uh, to say earlier on Fox News. You know that 3 a.m. phone call? Is Joe Biden ready for it? Watch. You can't have a part-time commander-in-chief. I cannot tell you, Steve, how many times we had to wake the president up, President Trump up, in the middle of the night to have a decision. And he was right on it right away. Look, that time when we killed Soleimani, we woke him up in the middle of the night. We got an answer. That was on the 1st of January, 2020. On the 3rd of January, 2020, Soleimani was dead. There is a real question that they have got and the world has got. Can this guy, President Biden, actually do the job other than just five or six hours a day? Yeah. Is he ready for it, John? And, you know, as someone that's been in Washington for, for so long, I don't understand why you haven't and the rest of the press corps heard more from the cabinet, because it's clear that the president is not ready for that call. Well, you know, I think if you're a member of the cabinet, you've got to toe the line. I made my way through all of the NATO uh, conference closures this morning, managed to make it into work. But you've got to wonder, what is Biden going to be like at this NATO conference? You know, we heard last week that he operates best between 10 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But what about that 3 a.m. phone call? But here's the bottom line, Lawrence, as we head into next week's Republican convention. What is the big question for the Republican convention? That question is, who will be Donald Trump's running mate? What is the big question for the Democratic convention coming up in August? Who is going to be running for president? I mean, when you take a look at, at the state that the two parties are in, I think the Republicans have the advantage here, at least on the PR side. Yeah.
It's going to be interesting, and I think that's why Donald Trump hasn't touched the media landscape uh, since the debate uh, until his interview with Sean Hannity last night. John, thanks so much for getting up. Remember to watch America Reports today at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Sandra's going to be there as well. See you, John. Thanks, Lawrence. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.